The next thing we're going to be learning about is math. Math is really important because everything the computer reads is in numbers. For example, the color is simply a number. Position and size are also numbers. And all the text like the name and the parent become numbers when the computer reads them. It's really important to know math and scripting so make sure you understand this next part. I'm going to remove all of this code and create a new variable. I'm going to call this local number equals let's say 5. Now inside of a print statement I'm going to do print 1 plus number. Let's go ahead and run the game and obviously it's going to print 6. This happened because we told the script that number equals 5 and then we added 1 to number. The script read this line of code just like this, except we saw it like this. And this right here is a plus sign. Let's go ahead and try different operations, like subtraction. Running this code gives us negative 4. And to divide in scripting, use a slash. 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2, that's why it gave us 0 0.2. And to multiply, you want to press shift and press 8, that's going to give you a star. 1 times 5 is 5, which is why it gave us 5. Now that you know the 4 basic operations, I've listed out the operations here in case you need to see them. I know you guys understand very variables by now so I'm gonna stop using them and just do some math here. This code right here gave us 100 because 10 times 10 is 100. However, if I were to use a slash which is divide, it would give me 1 and that's because 10 divided by 10 is 1. There isn't much else to say here because math is really simple in scripting. You have these four operations and you can do anything you want with the numbers. To wrap this section of the video up, I'm going to create a number using math and then add that to the parts transparency. Now in case you are still confused, I'm gonna go ahead and explain this one more time. When I write game, I'm referencing this entire game. All of these things right here are actually children of the game. From there what I'm doing is dot workspace because workspace is a child of the game. The next thing I need to do is grab the blue part which is a child of the workspace. We can also confirm this by looking in the properties of the blue part. You can see that the parent is the workspace. So I'm going to write dot blue part and now we want to adjust the transparency property. So I'm going to write dot transparency. And by the way you can also press tab to auto fill it. That just makes scripting a little easier and faster. Now I'm going to use equals because I want to set it to something and I'm going to write new transparency because the script knows that new transparency equals 0.5. Let's run this and you'll see the parts transparency is 0.5. That's about it for math. Let's go ahead and see how you can use print statements to find errors.